what up, what up? This edition of Fat Boy Fresh, we're gonna be doing a wood group tonic. What? A wood root tonic? That's right. In the tradition of getting your health in order so you can spring forward, we're gonna be doing a wood root tonic. Wood root tonic. This edition of Fat Boy. Fit it in the dash. Tired of the same old same. I play this lame. Who's gonna change the game? Huh? Fat Boy Fresh. Yep. Dad Boy Fresh. Red one, red two, check. Fat. Boy, for the that shit, boy, fresh. Yup, fat boy, fresh. Okay, so for this one here, so they're gonna be doing the wood root tonic. So uh, these are usual suspects here. So uh, for me, to my guesstimation, the most important part of this is the cheney root. So we got some cheney root, we got some cerise, we got some cinnamon leaves, we got a whole nutmeg, we got some moby bark, we got some moringa leaf. We got some strong back. We got some soursop leaf, some center pods, and some star anise. And we're gonna be using some cayenne pepper to get that good old blood pumping. And we got some nice chilies from Chile Poya. We're gonna use some cinnamon sticks. And uh, I'm gonna sweeten this up with a little bit of organic honey there. Some nice good uh, raw honey there, all right? So let's get right to it. Okay, so we're just gonna get right to it. We're gonna add, uh, some moringa leaf. I mean, you know, I never measure nothing, and I don't really think you need to. This stuff is potent, baby. All this stuff is gonna come out. All right. So we got some strong back. We got some sour salt leaf. All right. Center pods. Maybe I should go back and tell you some of the health benefits of some of this, all right? Soursop leaf. This is a great cure all for almost everything. Um, Soursop tree, you can use all parts of it the fruit, the leaf, the stems. We're using the leaf. It's good for, uh, believe it or not, I hear it's stronger than chemo and it's good for cancer, cure your blood, all stuff like that there, all right? Sour soft leaf. So we got some strong back. You know exactly what that sound like that do. So it does that. It gives you strong back. All right. Also, these things are also anti-inflammatories. So it gets rid of inflammation in your body. All right. Moringa leaf. Another great. This is the cure all tree. Moringa leaf. Uh, is good for everything for curing. Uh, not curing, but to lower inflammation in your body. None of this is a cure for anything. Proper exercise, uh, good food, and good water, and sleep. And I think you'll be all right with everything, man, all right? So we got the uh, Moringa leaf there, which was also called the Wonder Tree. Heals all kinds of ailments, all right? Don't take my word for it. If you wanna know a little bit more about something, always go do your research so you know what's going on, all right? So we got some cinnamon leaf, all right? Cinnamon leaf is really good for uh, inflammation, also for uh, bringing down your uh, high blood pressure. Most of these herbs are good for that, all right? So we got some cinnapods, which is uh, good for your blood. All this stuff is to get your blood circulating and moving well, all right? So we got some cinnapods, we put about four or five of those in there. All right, we got some star anise. Star anise. Oh man, look how start with star anise. Star anise is great stuff as far as culinary. It tastes good. It tastes like licorice, so it makes anything have that kind of taste. But star anise is good for you as well. We got some cerise. Just throw a whole big old bunch of that in there. You know what I mean? All right. We got the cheney root. I'm gonna use a big old piece of root there. This has a lot of iron in it, and it's good for uh, the blood pressure, all right? So we got that there, all right? So we're gonna add some Morby Bark, all right? Morby Bark is uh, good for all kinds of things, too. Yeah, Morby Bark, all right? We're gonna add a whole nutmeg. 
Let's add two. Alright? Why not? Alright? I'm gonna add cinnamon sticks. The bark of it as well as we had that uh the leaves there. Alright. And we got these chilies here. Alright. We'll add about one, two, three, four of those. Now doesn't look like a lot of stuff going on in here, but trust and believe you can use this over and over again. Of course, the first batch is gonna be the strongest, but uh, you know, we're gonna add our remaining stuff later, like our cayenne pepper and our honey later on, all right? So we're gonna add some good old water. Use the best water you can use. This is what I got, all right? Now, I, would recommend to let these herbs sit in the water for about 12 hours. And one thing I like to do is I like to keep all my little wood root tonic in one little bag so I know where it is and when I gotta get to it, all right? And I go searching around and that way, this is my particular brand, or my particular recipe for making wood root. I'm sure there's other ones out there but uh, as I need more stuff, I won't forget it. I'm kind of on the fence. This is some nice American ginseng. You know what? I'm going to add some ginseng to this because why not? This is a tonic to help the blood. Hey, let's get things pumping, all right? Put a little pieces, a couple of pieces of this uh, ginseng in there, all right? Yeah, nice. Okay. Okay, with the magic of YouTube, or television, whatever you want to call it, it has been 12 hours and I have let my herbs sit in that water and uh, just sit there and rest. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil and as soon as it hits a boil, I'm gonna sit it down, back down to simmer and I'm gonna let it simmer for about three hours. Very low heat, all right? I just wanna bring it up to temperature so that the water gets to boiling and then we're gonna simmer it off, all right? All right, okay. I got our wood root all the way up to boil. Now I got it on simmer. And I'm gonna let this sit and sit and sit, like I said, for three hours. I'm gonna keep adding some fresh water as needed because I know this size pot fits in the container that I need it to be in, all right? Okay, it's been hours, and this stuff has been boiled and sitting, and it's good and ready. Look at that liquid gold, baby. So right about now, I'm gonna strain this out. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Strain this out. And I'm saving all this goodness that I still got left. And I'm going to use that again. Put that in the Ziploc bag. And get used again. Alright. On to the next step. Okay, when I make my roots, I like to use a glass jar. And preferably with a uh, plastic top. Because if it has a metal top, it could corrode. And uh, I don't want that. So, pour this in here like that there, leave a little wiggle room, shake things up. Now this is the part, part itself, I made a little mess there, where you can use your own discretion. I'm going to use some cayenne pepper. I know I like a lot of cayenne pepper, so I use a lot of cayenne. Even though I got the other pepper in there, I use a lot of cayenne pepper, as well as the honey. Don't have to use honey. I like honey in mine. And when you use honey, it can ferment the whole process, which is why I like to use uh, a glass container. Because if it was plastic, you know, when it ferments, gas starts to get involved and it makes gas and it could explode. Cause this stuff is gonna sit around for a little while until you use it up. It can sit a 
months. And it'll only get better. But when you add the sugar, it ferments it. And it could become fizzy, which is how I like it. It becomes a little bit like a soda. And it's a nice little fizzy little drink. And that is entirely up to you. You can have the straight uh, wood root without any kind of sweetener. It would be fine. You get all the health benefits of it. You'd be good to go. This is how I like to do mine. All right. Give it a good shake. Put this somewhere nice and cool and dark. And you have yourself some wood root tonic. Good for what ails you. Okay, so there you have it, wood root tonic. This is about a uh, 40 ounce, 40 ounces of wood root tonic. I know wood root tonic could go for uh, about $50 a gallon. You're doing better off with this. Now, this is poking, so you can stretch this out. You buy wood root tonic, it ain't gonna look like this. Like I said, you can use those leaves over and over again, so you can get like maybe two, maybe three uses out of that. So there you go with that. Wood root tonic, this edition of Fat Boy. Fit it into this. Tired of the same old same, my plate is lame. Who's gonna change the game? Huh? Fat Boy Fresh. Yup. Dad Boy Fresh. Red one, bread two, check. Fat Boy. Fit it that shit. Fat Boy Fresh. Yup, fat boy, fresh, fat boy flex, slice, dice, and crash. You make salads and dollars and salads and maids and Italian, Asian, Occasion. Yup, yep. fat, fat boy, boy fresh. fresh. Yeah, that boy, put it in that Boy, you are ready. Wrong, they're ready wrong. Sound of the ages, they're ready wrong. Keep that ear to the pavement, they're ready wrong. Number one, three, and nine spot. Is you dumb, you already wrong, they're ready wrong. Sound of the ages, they're ready wrong. Keep that ear to the pavement, they're ready wrong. Number one, three, and nine spot. Is you dumb, you already wrong. R E D E E R U M T V R E D E E R U M TV, they're ready wrong. Sound of the ages, they're ready wrong. Keep that ear to the pavement, they're ready wrong. Number one, three, and nine spot. Is you dumb, you already wrong. R E D E E R U M T V. R E D E E R U M T V. They're ready wrong. Sound of the ages, they're ready wrong. Keep that ear to the pavement, they're ready wrong. Number one, three, and nine spot. Is you dumb, you already wrong. R E D E E R U M T V R E D E E R U M T V.